Will this winter ever end? The massive system quickly tracking across this country from Texas now all the way up to New England. On the roads already a challenge. The cleanup this Sunday after a massive and deadly pileup in Denver. The system then barreling through Oklahoma. So hard to tell when that black ice settles in. At the Syracuse airport tonight, just look, the crews there already hard at work de-icing planes and freezing rain pelting the windows at DFW Airport in Dallas, where their emergency operations center is up and running tonight. 1,800 flights canceled today day alone where the system hits when you wake up in just a moment here. But first, the conditions already Then ABC's Alex Perez leading us off. Good evening, David. The storm dumping a treacherous mix of snow and ice here in Bloomington. And tonight, across the path of the storm, there are concerns heavy ice on power lines could lead to major power outages. Mother Nature's fury taking no breaks this weekend in Oklahoma City. Icy conditions causing this 40 car pileup. And this car slammed into me while I was trying to eat my food in the car. This was the site in Denver Saturday after snow and ice caused a pileup involving more than 100 cars, killing one person. All the cars started to go like we had black ice or something. And before you know it, everyone is sort of crashing into each other. In Dallas, whiplash in the 80s yesterday. Today, struggling to get out of the 20s. The big concern, dangerous ice. An ice storm here just two weeks ago paralyzed the city. It's the same system that brought three days of record rain and mudslides to California. And watch the unbelievable scene at this Santa Barbara dockside restaurant. Time to go. What we're seeing here is what I call the perfect storm. You got high tides, huge surf, and a lot of rain. Three boats breaking loose in that choppy surf, one of them ending up right on the shore. Back east and in the mid-Atlantic, a travel nightmare. Those images of crews de-icing planes popping up across the path of this storm. The storm trekking across 20 states, 100 million people getting ready to start the Monday morning commute with another dangerous round of snow and ice. And the other big concern here in the Midwest tonight is that this snow and sleet will turn into a dangerous sheet of ice overnight. Crews will be working nonstop to try to keep up. David? Alex Prez on the storm for us again tonight. Alex, thank you. I want to bring in meteorologist Mike Wonkum in the Weather Center tonight. Boston's news leader, ABC station, WCVB. And Mike, first of all, the track of this thing, where is it right now? Where is it headed? Right now, David, it's in the Southern Plains, but it's moving rapidly towards the East Coast. And what it's doing is it's changing areas that were rain and ice into snow. And that is going to be the big problem. I think the heaviest accumulations are going to be right in the Baltimore, Philadelphia, Washington, D.C. areas. We could see eight inches of snow into those areas, perhaps as much as 12 inches in some locations. And south of that snow, we are talking about ice. A line of ice all the way from Oklahoma through parts of Arkansas and Kentucky. We're going to be seeing some very slippery conditions into those areas. And behind it, here comes that cold air. While here in Boston we missed out on the snow, we're not going to miss out on this cold. The cold air will be plunging its way all the way to the south. 20 to 30 degrees colder than today. Parts of Texas, 60 degrees colder than what it was this afternoon. So bundle up and prepare, build in some extra time for the morning commute. In the meantime, out west tonight, they came prepared. Look at this, a new image coming in from the Oscars at this hour. Umbrellas in hand, but Mike, at least the tents came down. Good news for them. A couple of days ago, powerful rainstorms. Tonight, we're talking about temperatures dropping from the 60s and the 50s, and the skies actually clearing away.